Hello students, I am sure you are hale and healthy. I have completed first three units. Then today we are going to learn fourth unit, um, <coughs> a poem. Okay, today we are going to learn a poem named The Spider and the Fly, uh, written by Mary Botham Hobbit. Okay, then I do remember. Uh, <clears throat> believe that okay i do believe that you are doing your assignments regularly and uh, learning all the question answers everything uh, please uh, do it regularly uh, then please take your textbook page number 102 102 102 then so um, definitely yeah, you know about spider, right? You have uh, some knowledge about the spider and the fly also. So the poem is The Spider and the Fly. Who's the author? Author is Mary Bottom Hobbit. Clear? Let's take a look at the author. Flip the page number 104 about the author. Mary Bottom Hobbit, born in the year of 1799. Okay, born in the year of 1799. She passed away 1888. She passed away in the year of 1888. Was an English poet. She is an English poet. She was born at Calford. Yeah, where she was born? She was born in Calford in Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. In that place, Calford. There she has born. Then she was educated at home and to read widely. Yeah, she uh, she has educated at home only. Then she had the habit of reading books. Okay, so she um, um, exchanged her knowledge, extended her knowledge. Clear? So, so she had the habit of reading books. A lot of books she read. Then she commenced, commenced to be bigger commenced writing verses at the very early age. So, out of this reading, she acquired knowledge and with that she started writing verses. Verses meaning poem. Together with her husband, William Hobbit. William Hobbit, uh, Hobbit uh, also a prolific writer. Okay, so with him, she started to write many novels, poems, stories, etc. Okay, together with her husband William Howitt, she wrote over 180 books. Wrote around 180 books. Clear? So read this. Let me read again. Uh, she was an English poet. She was born at Calford in Gloucestershire. She was educated at home and read widely. She commenced writing verses at a very early age. Together with her husband William Hobbit, she wrote over 180 books. Clear? Read this. Comments. What's the meaning of comments? It means bigger. Please learn these vocabulary, new words, and make use of it while speaking. Okay, then only you could step up, or else you will be in the same level. Okay. Then let's take a look at the glossary part. Let's get specific. Parlor, also meaning a parlor, a tidy room in a house used for entertaining guests. It's a room, tidy. So you need to understand the difference between clean and tidy. Okay. See, for example, we ask the, um, uh, what is clean the uh, room, which means you dust them or wipe with water, something. That is what cleaning. Okay. Tidy means organize. Okay, see all the things, toys, whatever it's, books or whatever things, dress, everything scattered in the, on the floor, right? It is not in um, particular spot, which means place. So everything is messed up, collapsed away. So we could ask, hey, tidy your room, which means organize all the things. It has particular place to keep. Books means this is the place to keep the books. Cloth should be here. Um, kitchen things, whatever, uh, chapels, all the small, small things we have allotted a spot for that. Clear? That is what tidy, tidy your house, tidy your room, which means organize that. Clean meaning you have to wipe it, dust it, everything, sweep. That is what clean. Sure? Yes. 
So here parlor, parlor a tidy room in a house used for entertaining guests. It's a place, okay, room uh, tidy, perfect place. Uh, have a lot of things in that uh, private place to entertain the guest. See, when a guest arrive at home, uh, do we take them into the kitchen? right away no right we uh, we have a lot of separate place for them hall or friend hall right sit out somewhere so we make them sit and have chat talk with them so serve, serve something so that is the way we don't take them to some other place right that is what then wind the next word please parlor meaning tidy room in a house used for entertaining guests. Please learn this right now. Winding. A twisting moment or course. Winding means it's a twisting. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you have seen verb. Verb. Okay. So in that verb it's a twisted way. Right. See. Uh, bring the visuals on your mind. Okay. Then we are. We are very tired. Okay. We are very tired. Especially from hard work out of hard work we get too tired exhausted right that is weary see so many words are there tired exhausted weary you could use whichever you like to then pantry a room where beverages food dishes are stored yes pantry is a place where we preserve uh, edible things eatable things pantry is uh, drinks kinds of drinks coca-cola bags See, like many drinks are there, right? Many kinds of drinks. So this that is called beverages. Then food, dishes are stored. Okay, these are the things stored and pantry. Okay, then subtle, subtle, delicate. Okay, thin, light, uh, beautiful, tender. This delicate or faint and mysterious. Somewhat mysterious. Okay, secrets. Then flattering. Flattering meaning to praise or compliment insincerely. See, flattering, uh, there are people uh, flatter others, isn't it? They are, uh, the, uh, the praising words, a lot of words they use, uh, looks so beautiful, stunning, you are doing this, that, and that. But these are the words uh, will not come from the bottom of their heart. Okay, just for word they may use. Okay, but uh, they they have some straight opposite words or something intention they have in their mind okay so please we should not fall um, out of their flattery okay flattery praising false praise okay then <clears throat> definitely you come across such kind of situations then uh, praise uh, to praise or compliment insincerely then counselor a person who advises, okay, person on, you, you met a lot of advisors, right? If you commit any mistake, uh, um, definitely advisors are around you. You are fed up with that, right? So, counselor, a person who advises is called counselor. Clear? So, please learn all these vocabularies. Then, shall we get specific the poem stanzas? See, warm up. Uh, here some, uh, could you see the uh, pictures, vegetables, uh, some pictures of vegetables given, beetroot, bitter gut, then drumstick leaves, all these things. See, uh, we don't take all the vegetables. Uh, nowadays kids are so fond of junk food than vegetables, right? Um, <clears throat> so if we want to make a kid uh, to eat vegetables, what do we do? How could we? What are the words? How could we uh, make them to eat? Definitely, we can talk about its benefits, right? Uh, yeah, this is good for health. Then, um, the kids, you know, how are you too? Uh, if we cook it in different way, you may like it to fry or some other. Uh, we need to try some other ways. Every day, in the same way, we never like. Uh, that too, we can make as to eat one way, then uh, definitely we should give some knowledge about the vegetables, okay. Uh, it's uh, moreover, 
if someone asks you, yeah, you eat this beetroot, it uh, gives shine on your face, it uh, gives glows on your face, you become uh, so pretty. Uh, if anyone says like this word, definitely we started to use the beetroot, right? Uh, or bitter gut. Like this, uh, some knowledge, some false price or some something, some words, some, um, some words we need, right, to make use of these things. So for kids also, we could give some more knowledge about the vegetables here. If you take this, it increases immunity power, then it's good for our health. We never get any uh, disease. Um, like that, if we uh, give some knowledge, it says talk about this, definitely a person start to take vegetable. So uh, here we need to entice the kids, right? Attract. We have to uh, uh, what is, use some tact tackles, right? That's what. So got some idea? Yes. Similarly, uh, we do, there are people, you know, to get things done. They need to get done some things by us. They use different ways. Uh, maybe they praise us, yeah, uh, see your handwriting is very uh, nice, legible. Uh, my handwriting is not, but could you write my assignment? Like that, we praise because we need to get things done. That's why we are praising others. Oh, yeah, you are writing very nicely. So please write. So, oh, they also fall on that praise. Okay, legible writing, handwriting, like that and all. So we use uh, different types of words and situations to get things done. So keep this, uh, uh, this situation in your mind. Okay, visualize all these things and listen this poem. It's an interesting poem. Okay, then shall we start the poem? First stanza. <clears throat> Here are two characters are spider and fly. Okay, so, so verb is called spider's house, home. Okay, then will you walk into my parlor? The spider is <clears throat> saying, asking, okay, to fly. Will you walk into my parlor? Walk into meaning come to my parlor. Parlor, sir, home. Okay, all the things are tidy somewhat attractive right yes said the spider to the fly yes spider asked the fly will you will you come to my parlor like okay uh, you could imagine if it if the fly uh, step uh, into its verb it a trap right definitely the spider killed the fly so uh, the spider to get trapped the fly it uses lot of words attract the fly and cunning words cunningly it uses words it's trying okay different ways to entice this what is fly okay then <coughs> it is the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy yeah here spy meaning see but actually we could see the cunningness of this spider okay so um, cunningly it trying to attract the fly to catch it okay so will you walk into my parlor said the spider to the fly it is the prettiest little parlor that you ever spy ever see okay the way into my parlor is up a winding stair and I have many curious things to show when you are there. Yes. So, <coughs> in this stanza, the spider, you know, it is tempting the fly. Okay. By saying, yes, I have a beautiful parlor. Uh, there are a lot of things, colorful things are there to show you. So, could you come to my parlor? Like that, it says. Okay. Then, the curious things curious means your yeah, strange things okay new things that you have uh, never seen before uh, such kind of things are in my parlor so please just come and take a look like that this spider is cunningly calling okay inviting clear then the spam fly you know oh no no I don't come okay it is so firm in its decision okay Oh, no, no, said the little fly. 
to ask me is in vain yeah vain mean useless okay you no need to ask me i don't come i never come okay i never step into your verb so it's a vain no need to ask no no said the little fly to ask me in vain for who goes up your winding stair who will come whoever goes in your winding stairs can never come down again yeah i know that clearly okay i know clearly whoever stepped into your verb climbed that twisting verb you know never and ever come down so you no need to ask me it's vain it's wasting of your time like that it replied clear so in this conversation the spider and fly spider is using nice words okay trying to attract with the things okay this fly but this fly is so determined okay so four minutes a decision i will not come you are the cunning fellow i know that like it's gave sharp reply clear the stanza let me read please listen it is not a memory poem okay then will you walk into my parlor and the spider to the fly said the spider to the fly it is the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy see the way into my parlor is up a winding stair winding twisting okay winding stair and a many curious thing strange things to show when you are there oh no no said the little fly to ask me as in vain yeah useless vain meaning useless ask me as vain for who goes up your winding stair can never come down again clear then next stanza i'm sure you must be weary dear yeah next so first it tried this way didn't work then it using another way okay yes i'm sure you must be weary weary meaning tired dear see the way of using words first will you come for light way okay gentle way it has now it uh, taking more advantage dear like that it is um, calling okay dear with a soaring up so high yeah i know that i'm sure okay you are you are flying so high so you must be very tired right uh, will you rest upon my little bed uh, said the spider to the fly yes uh, i'm i'm sure you are so tired exhausted by flying so high soaring up uh, so could you will you come to come and rest upon my bed i have a beautiful bed okay could you rest said the spider to the fly yeah next it says you are tired and come and i have a bed for you beautiful bed you come and rest on there like it's calling there are pretty curtains see the way of it how which are the words how it's trying to attract this fly okay yes uh, there are pretty curtains drawn around yes on this bed you know around this bed uh, beautiful colorful curtains are there drawn okay uh, the sheets are fine and thin i have a lot of sheets bed sheets okay so sheets which are very fine and very thin okay uh, it's not at all heavy or uh, not rough it's so soft uh, like oh, it says and if you like to rest a while i will snugly tuck you in yeah uh, if you you just come if you come and uh, uh, take rest definitely i will snug you snugly meaning uh, cover you okay cover you uh, comfortably okay comfortably i tuck you okay cover your body with a soft bed like that it tries <coughs> for this this uh, uh, fly you know it replied um, oh no no said the little fly it what is opposed it denied it refused okay immediately it refused oh no no said the little fly for i have often heard it said they never never awake again who sleep upon your what is bed yes this fly you know 
it's so clear okay it's so vigilant it's so aware it's so alert about this spider so when the spider is using different ways it's trying to attract um, throw many words on this fly okay just come to my bed you just take a look at my bird it's so um, beautiful it's uh, it's arranged in a well way and it's so tender soft uh, and uh, i have beautiful curtains okay around this bed uh, like uh, you just come and uh, take your rest uh, definitely i tuck you in comfortable way like that and all it's uh, same okay so immediately this fly denied refused to answer no no i know that whoever uh, took a rest on your bed never and ever come back like it says okay no no said the little fly uh, for i have often heard it said okay i heard that uh, they never never wake again they may take a rest but never wake okay because it kills who sleep upon your bed whoever slept on your bed never wake up clear like that said so i hope clear about this second stanza I'm sure you must be weary, dear, said soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed, said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around. The sheets are fine and thin. And if you like to rest a while, a while, a short time, okay, short span of time, uh, I will snugly tuck you in, snugly, comfortably tuck you, cover you in. Oh, no, no, said the little fly, for I have often heard it said, they never, never wake again who sleep upon your bed. Clear? The next, see here, oh, no, no, these are repetition, okay. First stanza also, the same line is there, then here also, so this is repetition. Clear? Then, next stanza said the cunning so it tried i have beautiful things uh, then i have beautiful bed but didn't work okay uh, then next said the cunning spider to the fly dear friend see next word okay dear friend slowly it change everything okay dear friend what can i do to prove the warm affection i have always felt for you see I have warm affection for you, okay, I love you a lot, okay, I care you a lot, uh, but how can I prove that whatever I say, you deny it immediately and you don't believe that, right, you are you're, you're thinking I am a cunning, like that the spider is saying, okay, so how could I prove that, like it's us, okay, said the cunning spider to the fly, dear friend, what can I do, what should I do? Uh, to prove the warm affection I have always felt for you. I have a lot of love on you. But how could I prove that? Like it's us. I have within my pantry a uh, good, uh, good store of all that's nice. See, then I have a pantry. Pantry, uh, it's a kind of room. A uh, lot of edible things are there. Okay. I'm sure you are very welcome. Will you please to take a slice? Yes. Pantry, already we have seen that meaning, isn't it? Uh, food, drinks, a lot of edible things, okay. Uh, delicious food are in my pantry. See, next thing, okay. So, pantry is there, a lot of edible things filled in my pantry. You just come and take a slice. Take a slice, meaning take a bite, okay. Just bite, take a bite, eat it. Like it says, okay. Eat all these food items I have within my pantry good store of all that snacks beautiful all the drinks food snacks all the things are in my pantry I'm sure you are very welcome yes I am you can come there and you can have it whatever you like 
uh, will you please to, um, take a slice like right? it's asked it's so persistence and it's a talk a persistence meaning it didn't give up give up okay it's keep trying okay keep trying yes i have beautiful bird and i have parlor so but this um, fly you know it denied refused many times but still it's so persist okay determined for that this fly you know oh no no said the little fly kind sir see here it changed the tone okay kind sir that cannot be i have heard what's in your pantry and i do not wish to see yes i i heard about what are the things are in your pantry uh, so i don't want to see that i don't wish i don't like to i don't like to see that okay like that this um, fly denied but see when we um, take a kid small kids in you know, a when we uh, show them or it will not come then we may show some chocolates or toys uh, sometimes when we give chocolate it refuse it will not come then we show some colorful toys uh, right playing things so like one by one we try to take the kids right similarly the spider also trying one by one okay it is said talked about parlor no way then what is bed about the bed colorful curtains so beautiful things when then finally it's uh, talking about yeah a lot of edible things okay sweets snacks drinks all these things are in my pantry so slightly this flies mind also oscillate okay change see the uh, language <coughs> this uh, fly you know when it deny uh, it also changes it to kind sir okay no no said the little fly kind sir that i cannot be i have heard what is in your pantry yes i have heard about what are the things are in your pantry and i don't wish to see okay i don't want to see that i don't like to see that okay i don't like even to take a look at the pantry like it's denied but we could see a bit changes in its conversation clear then next to stanza sweet creature see next word okay sweet creature said the spider you are witty and you are wise yes you are witty witty in the sense clever okay clever and humor sense everything okay witty and wise wise intelligent so the spider is slowly what is step by step it's a movie okay now it's a praising okay you are so witty and you are so intelligent how handsome you are right how handsome are you gauzy wing see now it is started to praise its appearance body right um, started to praise its appearance clear then wings how brilliant are your eyes yes it started to um, praise its eyes wings uh, all these things so i stop here i will continue this class um, this poem in the next class please uh, read this and to do the assignments uh, till this three stanzas summary you write it in your own words okay then read it and learn the new words clear i will continue in the next class thank you